Welcome guys. So after yesterday's shocker where Mpumi called out Liema's name for to be her roommate for the whole head of house win because if you remember Mpumi won the head of house yesterday and as the head of house you have to choose a roommate and to our shock and to our surprise and to the surprise of all the housemates especially Jared she called out Liema and guys if you remember throughout the whole stay in that house this is the seventh week Mpumi and Liema has, in, has started this kind of relationship where they sit together and talk about about Jared and uh, kind of brought them together and they, and they kind of bonded over <laughs> Jared. But Jared in his mind thought that he is in control of the whole relationship. But as things has proceeded, we now notice that okay, Mpumi is actually the one leading the whole clip. And uh, after the whole shocker, we thought okay, Mpumi is trying to play safe. What happened during the whole nomination? Mpumi nominated Jared and then that satisfied the moment that we've all been waiting for that. Wow, this girl is really a game player. Like the way she re-strategized her game after stepping out from the whole trouble relationship from Jared and Liema. She stepped out and then what did she do first? She shows Liema as her roommate and then the next thing is to nominate Jared. And guys, to be honest with you, I haven't been seeing that kind of gameplay from this housemate but after what happened yesterday, I kind of gave Mpumi her flowers. And then today, because you remember, today is the other room and this housemate will have to come to Big Brother and air their opinion on everything that has been going on and their reason for nomination. And yesterday, Big Brother scrapped out the whole save and replace. So during Mpumi's diary section, Big Brother asked her if the veto power was in play, whom would you have chosen? Whom would you have uh, replaced and who would you have put up? So Mpumi kind of gave another angle of the game that I didn't even see coming. Like, we've known that throughout the nomination process, every other housemate has been gunning for Papa Ghost and Rerato and seeing them going, standing up for possible eviction and then coming back again, sitting down every Sunday. At some point, he gets tired. Even Mac Jr. decided to switch his vote from Mac Jr. to other housemates because he's tired of sending them out and then them coming back. So today, Big Brother asked Mpume, if you were to use your veto power to save and replace, who would you choose? So Mpume dropped the bomb that if she was to choose, that she was going to save Papa Ghost and replace him with Young Papi. And guys, I don't know what God Young Papi serves. Young Papi is the only housemate that yesterday, throughout the whole nomination process, nobody dared call his name. If he's playing the invisible game, it works for him. Him, but how long would that go? For Mpumi to say, okay, I'm going to replace Papa Ghost and put him up for and put Young Papi instead of him. That kind of shows, okay, Mpumi is, is always paying attention to the game. She's she's living the she's living in the house and she also thinks like someone who's watching from outside. So for her, the reason why she gave she's she will replace Papa Ghost for Young Papi. She felt like in the house during the whole wager presentation preparation for the wager that Papa Ghost is a very good team player and then Papa Ghost is a very good leader. So with him in the house during this whole tax presentation and then preparation that they go a long way remember this week the housemate wagered 100 percent so for her as a head of house to give that kind of solid leasing of saving papagos is go it goes to show that okay she's not only there to be the leader she is there to also make sure that the housemate wins their wager so guys let me know in the comment section what do you think about the whole save and replace that mpumi did inside the diary room where she says she's going to save papagos and put young papi up instead let me know your thoughts in the comment section and guys don't forget like this video and if you are coming across my channel for the first time please subscribe we're on the road to 13,000 i'll appreciate that thank you